Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Patrice and today we are going to be making some pins so that I can keep track of them and my teacher friends and students won't steal them. If this is your first time here, be sure to look at the other content. If you enjoy that content, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love it if you would stick around. In addition, we also have an amazing Facebook group. And of course, our Facebook group is Craftable Things. I would love to have you there as well. But y'all, today we are going to complete a quick project. And this is not only good for if you are a teacher, but any profession that may need pens or if you want to make these for gifts, this is perfect for you. You don't even need a cutting machine. All you need is your inkjet printer, sticker paper, and UV resin, and you will be able to customize and make these amazing pens. All right. So I said it was going to be quick, right? Can't talk your ears off. Let's get started. Okay, y'all. So for today's project, this is everything that we'll need. Of course, we need the correct pens. And today we are using these Papermate Ink Joy gel pens. And these work beautifully for us to be able to take them apart and apply the sticker to it. We need sticker paper. Today we are using glossy sticker paper. And you need some paper. We're also going to use this straw. And so this is just a straw from one of my tumblers that I use when I'm completing uh, one of these pens. You're going to need some UV resin because we want to do this very quickly. We don't want this to take a long time. So we will be using UV resin. And with UV resin, you need either sunlight. So if you want to set your pens outside to dry, you can or cure, you can. However, today we will be using this UV lamp and this is really just a nail lamp. So if you get your nails done, I'm sure you have seen these before. Also, we're going to be using this X-Acto knife and these scissors because we are planning on printing directly onto our sticker sheet. We're not going to use the Cricut to cut out the, the rectangles. So we don't, you know, you're going to be using some scissors. In addition, you want to make sure that you have some gloves to put on. You don't want to touch that UV resin. So we have gloves that we will be wearing. Also, I do recommend wearing a mask when using any type of epoxy or resin. Okay, so that's everything that we'll need. So now let's head over to the computer and print out our image. Now we are inside of Creative Fabrica and I have found so many different creative wraps on Creative Fabrica. If you don't want to create your own, you have tons to choose from on this website. And so here is a glitter pin wrap collection and these are all of the different types of wraps that you can choose from. So you have different animal prints, you have some with like polka dots and this looks like mermaid scales. So whatever it is that you're into, you can pretty much find it here on Creative Fabrica so that you can create your own customized pens. Now you can also find some on Design Bundles. However, I am an all access member on Creative Fabrica and I will have a link below if you are interested and you have access to all of their resources on this website with the all access membership. All right, so I am going to go ahead and download a few of these. Um, we'll make maybe about two pens and see how they come out. So let's download and let's head over to Adobe Illustrator. So now we're in Adobe Illustrator and I already imported the two files that we want to use or the two images that we want to use for today's project. And we're going to use this composition notebook pen file and also this pencil file and I am going to customize these because I do want to put my name on them because I don't want them to get missing so I am just going to rotate 90 degrees and that's what we have and I'm also going to do the same thing for this one 
So if you have a program like Word or anything like that, you can definitely do this inside of a program like that. You can also upload this into Cricut Design Space and get the same thing done and your Cricut will cut it for you. All right, so now we have everything that we need for the most part and now we just need to personalize it. So I am going to put my name on, on it and so I'm going to be using the same font for both. And so for the pen, we are just going to put Miss Wilson. And all I did now was maximize the screen so that we can see it a little bit better. And I am going to change this font to cheerleader. You can put whatever font it is that you'd like. You can make the pens as fancy as you want. That is all up to you. So we're done with setting up our pins and this is super simple. This can definitely be done inside of Cricut Design Space. And what I am going to do now is select both of these and I am just going to copy them. And then I want to also paste it because I wanna fill up this sheet as much as possible. And so right now I'm just clicking onto my shortcut. And so for this one, it may be a little tricky um how i cut it because i don't really have a guideline around it as you guys see it's just the white uh border around it and so i don't really have a guideline around it so what i might do is i think i am going to just put a black border or maybe make a rectangle so that i can see it if not i might i might cut too much off and that may not be what I, I want. So I'm just going to select that, and then I am going to make that outline back and then move inside. And it looks like that might be exactly what we need. So we're all done, and it is now time for us to print this out. My page is build as much as possible and that's what I was going for. So I'm just going to go and select file and click print and I want my colors to look really good. The way that it's laid out here on the preview looks really good as well. My correct printer is selected. Today we're using the Epson Eagle Tank 15,000 and I am just going to head over to set up. And so on setup we're going to go into print settings and we are going to be using the paper tray which is the rear feeder and also it's already set to premium photo paper glossy you always want to make sure your quality is at the best that it can be when doing something like this so we are selecting best quality for this particular print we're not mirroring anything so you don't have to worry about anything below print quality next we're going to head to color options and under color options mode is already expanded but typically it's not and so to find all the other settings for color you would just click advanced settings and i am going to keep the mode at adobe rgb however if you're using an epson printer like me typically it will automatically be set to epson vivid so i have adobe rgb selected and for the gamma i am going to stick with a 2.2 gamma and so now I am going to select print and we are going to head over to our printer. So we've printed out our wraps and everything looks great. These colors look amazing. And I would recommend spraying your wraps before cutting and everything else, just to spray it with some clear acrylic sealer so that you don't really have to worry about this smearing with any of the UV resin or anything like that. You do wanna make sure that you dry it and just follow the directions. Typically, I'll spray about three coats of this on the sheet. I'll let it dry in between each coat 
and I never have any issues. For these, I did not spray them because my printer has pigment ink inside and it's waterproof and I don't really worry about it smearing. As long as I let it dry, everything is all well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut these out. Now we're just gonna be doing two together, but I am going to cut them out. If you put these inside of your Cricut, if you uploaded these images inside of your Cricut, your Cricut can cut it out for you and you don't have to worry about it. So our wraps are cut out and I'm just gonna put these over here on the side to wait for us to get ready to set our pens up. Now I do have this sanding block so you can get a sanding block or sanding paper just to kind of, you know, sand down your pen, make sure it's smooth. And also I like to do that because the adhesive really has something to grip on to when you're applying the sticker paper. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take apart the pen and you wanna remember how the pen is <laughs> taken apart. So we're just going to take off the tip and then we're gonna put that aside. I'm also going to remove the pen from inside and then we're going to remove the little button or the presser and this is how that part goes so just remember the order and everything will be perfectly fine and you will have a perfectly usable pen all right so now we want to go ahead and remove this because you will need to remove this in order to wrap our pen for that full wrap all right so i'm just going to take it and this lifts up a little bit and we're just going to kind of twist it and then as you twist it, it will pop off. And so that is really garbage at this point. Okay, so I am then going to take my X-Acto knife because I don't know if you can really tell, but right there, we don't really want that. We wanna remove that. We wanna remove that little uh, hump right there. And this is gonna be fine. Once you wrap it, you won't even be able to tell that that's there. We are going to sand in that area also. So you want to be very careful with your X-Acto knife and I am just going to kind of get under there and just kind of get it off. You really want it to be as smooth as possible. So hold on. And you want to be careful. So I'm holding it really tight and just being careful with how I do this. Now, if you want, if you have a an electric sander or a drill, you can probably get that done a lot quicker and a little more safer, right? And so that little hump, I'm just gonna go ahead and knock that out of the way. So we pretty much have it as smooth as we really need it. And then I'm gonna take the sander and sand it. So for this part, I'm just gonna make sure that this is sanded. And this really works good too, like if you decide that you want to glitter it and put Mod Podge and different things like that. But for this, this is a very, very simple, simple project. I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly sand it especially that area where I removed that plastic. And see, it's feeling very smooth. Next, you can get an alcohol wipe like this, or you can just get a paper towel with alcohol on it and just clean off that debris from sanding. So we've let that alcohol dry on the pen, and so now it's time for us to apply our sticker. And so we just want to remove the backing, and now that we have that backing removed, you can just make sure it's straight and then you can kind of apply it um, that way. Or you can kind of turn it down and let that adhesive stick up. And then you can place your pen on there that way. And so you do want to make sure that it is flushed. And so it really doesn't matter once you apply the pen exactly where you place the sticker um especially like if you customize it with the name but you do want to make sure that you kind of set this down and have it flushed to that edge 
just like that. All right, and then I'm going to let that drop. And so the size is one and a half by four and three quarters. You can, if you want it to wrap the top, you just need to make it a little bit uh, longer. So now I am just going to pull this around and I am pulling it tight and pulling it and pressing it at the same time. If there's a particular way that you want this to kind of overlap, then, you know, you would pull that side first. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pull this side over now. And I'm pulling it because I don't want any air underneath. Right, so this is what we have here. And we have our top. And that's what we have so far. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing for this pen. So now I'm just repeating the same exact steps that I did for the other pen. And just make sure you press that adhesive sticker very tightly onto the pen because you don't want any of the resin to seep underneath. We have our pins wrapped and now it's time for us to put on our gloves so that we can apply the resin. So to seal the pins, I am going to place the straw in the opening. Let's seal this one first. In the opening and just push it down. And now we're going to get ready to apply the UV resin. And so to apply, I am only going to put a little bit of the UV resin. And today we are using the Best Unis UV resin. And I am just going to put a little bit because I really want a thin coat. This will seal it and you don't have to worry about it peeling up or anything like that. But as I'm applying the resin, I am making sure that I get over that edge. I don't really want any of that resin to go inside, but I do want it to kind of seal the edge of our paper. And so I am just putting more, but very, very thin. It does not need to be a lot of resin. I'm using my finger because I can feel the smoothness. For these, I'm only going to apply one coat, but you definitely want to make sure you seal where that seam is. And you just seal it. I'm just rubbing my finger around just to make sure. I'm going to take that. That seals it. All right, so if you feel more comfortable, like once you cure it this first time, you can go ahead and apply another coat of UV resin to it if you feel more comfortable with two coats. But I feel very comfortable with uh, this one coat. I make these pens often for myself and give them to others, and I haven't had an issue with them peeling or anything like that. But you wanna make sure that you fully coat this with the UV resin. All right, everything looks good. So now we are going to place this inside of the UV lamp and we will be pressing this for three minutes. Well, not pressing. So now we're gonna get ready to place this inside of the UV lamp and we will be leaving this underneath the UV light for about three minutes. And I'm going to have to press the 60 second button three times. <laughs>
job done. And so what I'm gonna do now is, because I do feel a little bit of that resin there. So you wanna make sure you remove any resin. And so if you have a drill, that would be perfectly fine for you to use, or you can just take your X-Acto knife and just clean, clean that area if you feel like it's just a lot there. Sometimes if you get too much of the resin inside you won't be able to close to close it but it comes off just fine so i'm going to take the sander and just sand the top part just a little bit not too much just want to make sure that i sand it if there's any overlapping of the the wrap or anything right there i do like to do that on this side that looks pretty good no sanding needed there and that looks great as well so then I'm just going to clean this off, all that shaving. And now it's time to put our pins back together again. All right, so these are the parts of the pin. And so let's go ahead and put this one back together. All right, so we're going to start with the clicker and then we're just putting that inside of there and so we're going to slide this into the opening so where it goes it's more rounded at the top and so that's not the side where we're going to drop everything into we're going to drop it into the side that's a little more open and then we we'll drop that there next it's time for us to place the pin back and it's best just don't try to remove the spring just keep everything exactly the way that it is and then i am just going to drop that inside and it will stick up a little bit and that's fine you don't need to pull this or try to bring that spring down just leave it as is and then now i am going to take the top and just push down and screw the top back on top that's why it's important to make sure that you don't get too much of the resin inside of there and also you remove any resin that might be there but here's our first pen and doesn't it look lovely so i can feel comfortable lending out my pen to my students knowing that it has my name on it <laughs> all right so we're just going to go ahead and place that back down there and then, of course, our pen. And then we are going to take this up and we are going to twist it on. Yep. Everything looks great, actually. I'm loving our pens. Okay, y'all, so we are all done making these pens for the upcoming school year. I have a few more that I have to make, but these are the ones that we made and customized with my name on it. So now when I let a student borrow a pen, they will remember exactly where they got it from and hopefully they will return it to me. So this project was super easy, super quick, and y'all these pens last. I have pens that are like three or four years old that are still holding up so you definitely want to try this out these are great you can even sell these if you want you can turn these into gift sets get a notebook matching notebook and there are so many different designs that you can find on creative fabrica and or design bundles if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up also make sure to hit the subscribe button i would love it if you would choose to stick around and head over to facebook and join our facebook community craftable things as well but that is it for today, y'all. Thank you all so very much for watching. Until next time.